Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the three settings that you can change for a classroom recording. So whether you have the free version and you are manually recording, or if you have the paid version and it is automatically recording for you, these settings may be important for you to know about. So first, let's take a look at where we find those settings. So in the bottom left corner, it says settings. You go to system settings at the top. And then from the general, if you scroll down or click on classroom, you will see the recording settings right under the text font size. So it says the scope while recording the classroom only take effect after restart recording. So that just means if you're in the middle of recording and you change it, it will not take effect. You have to stop a recording, change the setting, and then go back into the recording if you wanted to change it. So the default setting for classroom recording is the mini classroom window. It says when screen sharing is enabled, de system desktop will be recorded. So that's just warning you that if you use screen share and whatever you're sharing is smaller than your desktop, the student will be able to see your desktop as well. But that will not happen if you don't use screen share. So let me show you what that looks like if you have not used the recording before. So mini classroom window is set. I'm going to go into my Blackboard. So notice right now my classroom is taking up my entire desktop, my entire screen. Once I go into record, click start recording. I'm going to name this mini classroom and it automatically saves as an MP4 and I click save, my recording starts. But notice what happened. As soon as I started recording, my classroom window gets smaller and then everything on my desktop, I can see around it. But the student can only see, of course, what's in our classroom window. Some people don't like the mini window because it's so small. I have a very large monitor, so a very large screen. So I actually prefer the mini classroom window because this is actually a really good size for what I would want to use for teaching. So I don't have to constantly look around at my screen to see everything. So if your window is too small, it gets too small for you, then there are other options. So I'm going to stop my recording. And then let's take a look at the recording. So this is what the student will see. The student will only see the recording of what's in the classroom. They're not going to see my desktop unless I use screen share, which I never use anyway. So this is perfect for me and for the student. So now let's take a look at our second setting. I'm going to go back to my settings, system settings, and I'm going to go to the second option, adaptive classroom window. When the classroom window is large, the CPU performance requirement is higher. That's just warning you that if you don't have a good quality computer with a lot of RAM, then your CPU may struggle to record the larger screen, which means your classroom performance might not be as good. There might be some lag or issues in your classroom. But if you have a really top quality, high performing computer, the setting should work fine for you. So I'm going to click on this. It has the same, same um, warning. When screen sharing is enabled, system desktop will be recorded. So now let's take a look at this one. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to go into my Blackboard and I'm going to record. So again, my screen is filling my entire desktop. I'm going to call this one adaptive and hit save. Notice when I start recording, my box by classroom did not get smaller. It stayed the large screen. So now I can teach my class. I have it filling my entire desktop. And again, the student only sees what is in the classroom. So if I was to make my classroom smaller, I could see my desktop around it, but the student will not be able to see it. So let's stop recording and let's take a look at this one. So here's again, they can only see the classroom. Notice when I made it smaller here at the end, it is only recording the classroom. It is not recording anything else. So all the student sees is the classroom, which again is what you want. 
so now let's go to our third setting. Back to settings, system settings. Number three says desktop. When the display screen is large, the CPU performance requirement is higher. So again, it's just giving you that warning that it takes more power to record the large screen. So I'm gonna click on desktop and go back into my Blackboard. And I'm going to start recording again. And I'm gonna call this one desktop because that's what the name of the setting was. And again, notice my screen stays large. It fills the entire desktop. You'll see these little green, uh, green corners showing you what is being recorded. But see what happens this time. If I make it smaller, notice those green corners are still there. So it's showing you that it's recording not just the classroom, but it's recording my entire screen. So also, if I was to open, let's say I open a browser, even though the student cannot see this browser during class, let's see what happens when I look at my recording. So I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm going to go to my desktop and here we go. Here's where I made it smaller. Again, now the student watching the recording, even though they did not see it in class, they are seeing it in the playback recording of their class. And then let's see when I open my browser again, even though they did not see this browser during their class, they are now seeing it in the recording, which if you're looking at something that you don't want the student to see, then that's going to be a problem. So here we go back to our three options again. So if you like the mini window, then of course, just keep it mini classroom window. But if you want it to fill your entire screen, I recommend using the second option, adaptive classroom window. That way the recording is only showing what is in the classroom, not anything else on your computer. So hopefully this helps some people out there that might have some options now for the recording that they didn't know about. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye everyone.